What are we doing? All right, homework. Okay, everybody, this is homework chat for this week, starting in November. We're in November already, y'all. Are we ready for that? Nope. nope. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, I know that School Magical Stitches um, homework just got released, and Cheryl released hers. There's two monthlies we haven't, no, we got through last month's monthly. We got through School Magical Stitches monthly last time. We have Cheryl's for this time. So let's go ahead and start with School Magical Stitches homework. That's your cue, Jesse. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, dear students, welcome to your seventh year here at Hogwarts. This summer has been nothing short of interesting. The Daily Prophet seems to have a new breaking story every day, and we are still reeling from the loss of Albus Dumbledore. War is certainly brewing, and several former students seem to be at the front lines. Before classes start in earnest, let's catch you up on everything and get this year started right. Your professors and I have a feeling that this year will test you in unexpected ways, so study hard and stay vigilant. For the following tasks, 200 stitches each for two points. Task number one, Harry Potter cleaned out his trunk and found a bunch of old treasures. Work on a whip that you haven't worked on in the longest. Uh, Jess, did, did Jesse blank out or was that me? It was you. you. She was okay. Like, just keep stitching. He just keeps stitching. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go with um, The longest I haven't worked on. There's probably one or two left from Mania that I haven't touched since Mania. I'd have to look up and see what they are. Um, let me see. I can't get my photos. Mine is going to be Owe oh, Them All from Erica Michaels, right? Um, Bent Creek. Is it Bent Creek? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. I knew it was one of those two. I couldn't. Here we go. Uh, let me share. Because I haven't worked on it since October 2nd. Because remember, I just played catch up on all my, oops, that's the wrong thing. On all There's my. There's that list again. Books. Yep. <laughs> oh, the mom. I believe it's by Aaron Michaels. Yeah, I think you're right. So, I'm wrong. That that's one. the one that's supposed to be on 40 count gauze, isn't it? Yeah, and I did not go there. That's not Bent Creek. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I've got Summer by the Cricket Collection. Ooh. Can y'all see that? I got that one too, Jesse. Yeah? And that's, that's, um, it's probably not the most old one I've worked on, but it's one of them. Yeah. And uh, that's been, uh, August of last year was the last time I worked on it. Ooh. Can y'all see what I'm sharing? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just making sure I've never done that before, so. Oh, look at you go. Thanks. Well done. Mm -hmm. I just need to try and get my my photos to behave. And every time you screw, share the screen, I can't, I can't <laughs> drive. It takes over all our screens when that happens. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh, wait, Vicki. I did a year of start in 2017, so some of them I haven't seen since 2017. So. Anyone yeah. I can't get up and do anything. I'm stuck in my chair so long time. Okay. It's your bathroom. Okay. Uh, then we'll move on to task number two. Rita Skeeter wrote a controversial book about dearly departed Albus Dumbledore. Work on a whip that you would have as the cover of your own biography. Explain why and how it represents you. Ooh, I like that one. Mm. Okay. That one. That one intimidates me a little bit, to be honest. You just need to get a pretty lady. <laughs> I probably oh. will. I know. Am I being sickly? <laughs> um, I nearly, I've nearly got my album up. It hasn't been behaving. Here we go. Okay. I've got mine. I've got mine. I would probably do a Disney, one of my Disney designs, because, you know, I love Disney so much. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyone would work. You guys going to show us yours? Okay, I'll go first. Yep. Um, this one? Ah, that wasn't it. Hold on. 
It gives you so many options. Here we go. So I think I'm going to go with this one because I like to think of myself as an optimist and I like to find, um, I like to be happy with the little things in life and not have to have something to make me happy. Does that make sense? I don't think that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. And that's sort of like a picture of you with your friends anyway. Your <laughs> yeah. stitching friends. Yeah. All right, Jessie. Okay. I am going with so many buttons. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, Touching the Autumn Sky by Miravilia. Um, I'm obsessed like with autumn and swings and the joy of things like that. So, so simple things, man. Hey, my turn now that I've finally got some pictures ready. All right. I'm actually thinking, and I should go with this one because I'm a music teacher and I like to yeah. sing. So I think that's the one I would do for that. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I like it a little more now. Like, it was yeah. really intimidating until people started showing. I was like, oh, but that makes so much sense. That doesn't seem hard. Yeah. There you go. Vicky, what would you use? George? <laughs> I, would flower use, across that river. Pieces. I would probably I will use one of my Disney pieces probably a Cinderella piece because she's my favorite princess it's and a shame I, you've already finished fairy tales because that would have been it that would have been it be. but my husband just thinks you know he, he asks me every day what are you the princess why are you asking <laughs> what the heck all right task number three the Dursleys wisely took advice and left number four private drive for good. Say goodbye to a project by working on the whip that you are closest to finishing. Um, well, I'd just like to say that based on the fact that I'm currently working on it and it may not look like it much, that's actually really close to being finished. Yeah. That's farm yard, Farmyard Christmas. And I reckon by the time I do a few more stitches on it today, then that one will be pretty close to finishing to continue working on this week. So, like, I have a few pieces that are close enough to finish, but I wouldn't get the 200 stitches on them. Mm. Well, skip one, skip, then move to the next one that's close to being finished and finish mm -hmm. that one. Plans. Once again, Miss Headmistress. I know. I am a difficult person sometimes. All right, I want to share real quick while you're thinking. I think he's just trying to kill, finish that stitch December. Yes. <laughs> so I've got Summer again by the Cricut Collection, so this is going to get me even closer. Um, I am through this point. So I'm at over the halfway point. And once I put time into this, they go so fast. So I think that's my closest. It's certainly mm -hmm. one of my smallest left. Cool. No, mine is Tiger. From Mir from Nora Corbett. Yeah. Um, I'm almost done with that. No. Um, I think I'm going to actually where'd y'all go? Right yeah. here. But on my screen, y'all have disappeared. Okay, there you are. You um, know what we look like. I'm working on welcome two, and this is all I have yeah. left to finish it. Oh yeah. yeah. So, it's really close to being finished. And you do have two hundred and more. Isn't yeah, that one? definitely. Cool. Okay, task number four. We had to put our polyjuice potion to work and one of our students was cloned seven times. It was during this time that we had to fight the seven potters war. Work on a project that has repeating patterns. Ooh. Oh, that's easy. Let me just reach around here. I keep getting live whips from me today. Don't get that often for me. I'm usually just picking Oh, I know what that one would be. That would be Tiny Treasures for me. It's the uh, from the maker of, of the free one, the Black Work Design Company that uh -huh. makes stitches. Yeah, Black Work Journey. Black Work Journey. Journey. Thank you. Uh, say uh, it's Tiny Treasures. It's really pretty, um, but it's got it's a lot of repeating. The border. Uh, I'm going to do the border on Painted Orphans. Very repeating. Yep. I have inks. Oh man, 
I can't get my stuff together tonight. I have ink circles, growth rings. So lots of repeating patterns in there. Yep. Yeah, cool. That's so pretty. I've got, I think I'm going to go with Fantasy Sal. Oh, yeah, that border. Definitely. Yep. yep. Awesome. That's easy. Are you that done with that, Jesse? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I was That's thinking... been my prison whip all year long. Because <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it keeps surviving the cut every time I purge projects. So I guess I don't hate it that much. All right. Task five. A former student, George Weasley, lost his ear due to a curse during the aforementioned war. Work on a project you can hear the sound it would make when you look at it. Please provide a simple explanation of what you hear. George, I will hear the river sloshing against the boat. <laughs> you knew you had to throw George in there eventually. Yeah, George, has to, George, George. George is like my focus piece, so yeah. Yeah. Can, uh, yes, Lisa? One, this one, um, Christmas carols and birds chirping. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I was going to say, can can I do do re mi? Because every time I look at it, I hear do a di re fi mi di. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I hear the sound of music. That's definitely yeah. hearing. And I'm going to go with this one. Water. Swans honking at you. Yeah. I thought you would go with summer. And then just finish it out. Uh, finish that stitch December. Ah. <laughs> Think about that one. I'm going to try our hardest not, not to let you ruin our plans, woman. I don't have very many, so I have to hold on to them for as long as possible, <laughs> but also get them as close as I can. <laughs> All right. I'll try to ruin your plans, but you never know what happens with me. <laughs> All right. And the final task is a bonus. For the initials R A B found on the neck on the necklace, a truly confounding puzzle. Stitch on a project where those three letters are all found in the title of the design or the designer. So an example would be Cranberry Christmas. R A B is definitely in there, or Abbey Rose Designs. R A B is in there. The letters do not have to be in order. Okay. Okay. Another live one for me. We are humans. Where's the B? Oh, no B. Oh. B in the design title? Mm -hmm. I know. I heard, I heard an E, not a B. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get the bonus points, but Teddy Bear Tree. What I'm working on right now. Oh, I got one. I got another one then. I'll go the easy option because I can. Blackbird. Yep. Blackbird design. Found it. Chat. Well, I mean, I didn't find the picture I found. Oh. I went through my list to see the letters. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, where, where are you? I think Blackbird designs might be a popular one, but pretty easy. Miss Ladybug. Where's the oh. R? Huh? Where's the R? Oh. I did ADB. Where did Mark I get Corbett? Huh? Mark Corbett. But I thought it was just the design title. Or designer. <laughs> but oh. I don't think it's a combination of the two. Right. It's not a combination of the two. It's an or situation. But the designer okay. counts. Well, then I have a Mirabilia too. Or Mirabilia. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to double up and do Touching the Autumn Sky. Mm -hmm. Do I need to show that again? No. Okay. So that's the end of homework, right? Yep. The magical stitches. Yeah. Right. You want Shell's homework? Oh, yes. whoa, when did that change? What? Facebook changed this new menu. Oh yeah. I've had it for a few days when I did the last update. That was all new, sorry. Okay. There's the squirrel. Back to what we're doing. Homework. <laughs> so uh, Shell's done, got a cornucopia week and in the cornucopia week she's got um, the usual sorts of challenges, whole thing about what a cornucopia is, you can read that yourself if you're interested. 
Number one, Greek legend says that Almathea, a goat, and Zeus's foster mother accidentally broke off one of her horns. Zeus felt terrible for her, and so he promised that the horn would always bring her what she wants. Stitch on a piece you have, and tell us about a piece you want. So stitch on anything, so you could easily double dip any of them, and just write a story about a piece you want. Mm -hmm. Number two, cornucopia is also called the horn of plenty, commonly overflowing with fruits, vegetables, flowers, leaves, and nuts. Stitch on a piece that has something you'd find in a cornucopia. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, flowers, leaves, yeah. Another flower. Yep, cool. Yep. I think flower, flowers and leaves makes it pretty easy. Sammy. Um, okay, share and this one. Oh yeah. That just looks like a cornucopia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a pretty. It's pretty. Cornucopia weave. I will double up with this one because it's got Leaves and flowers. Gorgeous. Vicky. I can leaves. Down tiger lily because she's a... right. Or you could sit on George if there's any trees in it. No, there's not. Mm. I could use that for the drinks you make at Thanksgiving. Oh, sorry. All right. The symbol of the cornucopia was used along with rolling fields of grain to lure the new settlers to come to the new world. Stitch on a piece that another stitcher lured you to start. Now, come on, how many of those pieces have we got, people? I'm stitching on one right now. I'm sorry, say that again. Something someone lured you to start. Oh, plenty of that. I will have to do deck the whole sow because Sammy J made me do it. I will do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Any of this. It's so true. I've already done that challenge. Uh, I used my teddy bear tree that I'm working on right now because I admired it on the Hay group and someone racked me with the mini. So I'm actually working on it. Oh, that's a good one. Mine would probably be deck the halls um, because Carly at I Stitch What I Want bought it for me and said, you're stitching this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. All right, at this 1904 St. Louis World's Fair, the first waffle cone was referred to as the World's Fair Cornucopia, also because of its cone-like -like shape. A fitting name, as waffle cones are quite big, cones of plentiful ice cream and indeed stitch on a piece with ice cream or something you would find at a fair. Now, while you guys are thinking, I'd just like to say, I'm a turkey, gobble, gobble. You're going to use your feather. I'm going to use my turkey feather and not really care about it. Thank you. Hey, Jesse's got a turkey. So um, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with that one because I get to get one, one item free for the next four weeks, as I've does Jesse. I've already stitched that one too. Cool. I am tempted to use mine on that. However, I would really like to work on this project. And so I'm pretty sure that I can make... Uh, homemade quilt or handmade quilt fit as something you would find at the fair. You wouldn't craft pavilion. Yeah. So we'll see if I have time to get to anything. <laughs> so if not, you'll gobble with me. Yeah. Um, and this is August quilt by Paula Vaughn from her quilts for all seasons for those who don't know it. Am I good? My turn? Yep. Okay, I'm just on mine. Mm-hmm. Because you went a teddy bear at a fair. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Summer Sparkler Party has ice cream, watermelon. Kind of looks like she's at a fair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the 4th of July fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool, that works. All right, number five. Hey. Cornucopia is also the name of the annual November food and wine celebration in Whistler, Canada. This year's slogan for the festival is so wild you can taste it. Sit on a piece with something wild. Use your imagination. 
and I have already decided I have wild sheep. <laughs> In a pen. <laughs> There's a <wild. laughs> There's a wild, yes, Vicky, good. So you've got three of them covered on that one. Oh, sorry. I've got this one. A couple of wild swans. <laughs> wild yeah. things happening here. There are. Um, just wild animals, huh? Something wild. It doesn't have to be an animal. You could you could do your fair one and say you were having a wild party. At the what, fair. If I, what if I say I'm being wild and I solemnly swear I'm up to no good? <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, the owl could be wild. Oh, that too. That too. You're no fun, Lisa. Oh, I God. know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the first post. But I think the whole year that I will not be able to do full stop, lay down my there. I'm declaring defeat already. The bonus prompt. Stitch on a piece with a cornucopia. A clear representation of the cornucopia must be in the design. I don't even know really what a cornucopia is. We do not have them, I don't think, here. I, I sort of have a vague idea of what they are. It's like a horn full of fruits and veggies and stuff. So I don't have any food. I have nothing. I'm out. Well, well let me show you what I'm doing. Any pattern? No. Nope. Let me show you what I'm doing, and that will help elucidate at least what it is. <laughs> so uh -huh. this is Autumn Sampler by Kohler Design Studio. And I have not started this yet, but I have wanted to for a long time. Um, and that right there is an yeah. that's what i'm imagining well can yeah. i say jesse i actually have got that pattern as a kit in my storage shed stash ah. but number of hours it would take me to go to the storage shed and try and find it in the boxes of who knows what not going to happen but hey if i get asked for one next year i'll be right <laughs> well if you keep hanging out with us americans you probably will <laughs> vicky I don't even know if I have something with a cornucopia. 300 and some odd starts, I don't know. I might have to do a new start. You can do that, I'm not. <laughs> and unfortunately my turkey feather didn't count for the bonus. Yeah. All these stitcher games. Okay, so does that put us all the way through Cheryl's? Uh, yeah, and then, and then the seven. But did we get your cornucopia, Sammy? I do not have one. Okay. So now you've got Shell's Monthly. Anyone got it? Uh, I can. All right, I got it. Monthly is very interesting this month. This is kind of a, her monthly is a, open up to a lot of interpretation. Yeah, so it's about being thankful. How appropriate. Um, <laughs> 10 of the top things most people are thankful for, you've got to choose five of them and pick a special wit for each word that you think fits. fits. For example, an anniversary piece for your spouse, a design with a house that you love to represent shelter, a piece that signifies freedom to you. While you're stitching, you need to give some thought as to why you are thankful for the prompt, reflecting on how it's made your life better and ways you can show appreciation for it in the coming year. So you can't just meet the prompt, but you have to actually put some thought into the choices to make it more special. You can use one wit for all the prompts. Um, but yeah, so basically you've got to choose five of these words, spouse, family, friends, freedom, health, shelter, food, water, job, and laughter. 500 stitches in each, plus you can have a bonus to put 200 stitches in the other five. Okay. Well, I know what I would do for my spouse. And I know you're gonna think, so this actually, this teddy bear tree, when my husband asked me to marry him, he had ordered a very special Vermont teddy bear. And it, the, the, it was wearing a little heart bow that said, I love you. And it had a gold pouch with my ring in the gold pouch. 
Oh. So that is very special. I'm going to have to put a great deal of thought, I think, into finding them because, you know, some of them are pretty easy. I mean, where my heart blooms, I could definitely do for my, my spouse or my family or for shelter, all three. Maybe all three. I want to get it finished because it's like an, um, a family anniversary piece um, and the house is shelter. So that's something that jumps out at me. Food. The only thing I have with food is the Christmas. I don't know. Let's have a look at my pictures. Might be, oh, not yet. I've got to change the screen. Anyone else want to look while I find my screen? Are you prepped, Jesse? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. I'm just going to go through all of them real fast here. Uh, so for spouse, I'm going to go with August quilt because this is a Rose of Sharon pattern and Rose of Sharon represents love and marriage and unity. Um, I am also, I'm not using this for anything else, okay? And I haven't decided which ones we'll get. Um, uh, 500 versus 200 or anything like that. Where'd you go? Okay, uh, I'll be using in this moment for family. No, not for family, for friends, uh, because I have nicknamed this piece Mika McKenna, who are two stitching friends. Um, I'm also using it for freedom because um, there's some creative freedom taken with this. Nudity is an expression of freedom, and apparently swans are also a symbol of freedom. Wow, that covers a lot. Um, and then I'm also using it for water. There's water. And for laughter, um, this one has a couple of funny nicknames, which I will not say here on live. Um, and I also, um, I also think it's funny because it's massive and my original goal finish date was one year, uh, which is very laughable. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, so there's that one. And then I have farmhouse Christmas for family, there's family stuff all over this one. Um, I have it for health because pine trees, they never die, um, and so they're ever healthy. Uh, shelter for the houses and barns, um, and job for um, like farm work or the truck there, uh, and then this one for food, because there's food stuff all over it. And I think that's all 10 of them, probably. Cool, yeah, you got that all covered pretty well. Yep. get yours Lisa okay well I'm thinking you got 10 minutes oh well I don't need to think that long <laughs> um gingerbread Christmas is definitely food it's also got this puddle of ice or snow so that would be good for water um they'd be laughing while they're having fun and playing um a job I could use it because Santa has a job delivering presents down the chimney there's a building sort of shelter. Um, friends, obviously. Freedom, because you're on school holidays. So really between that and probably my, um, the only other one I could think of that might be useful, that is out of the way, would be the good old we are humans because I'm sure there's something in there I can use for freedom. Mm -hmm. That's my thought at the moment for two seconds of thinking about it. Emmy? Um, oh, I hadn't really, I hadn't even seen this yet, so I was so not prepared. <laughs> so here we go. Um, this one will be good for spouse or even family because it talks about love and the, that's important for both friend or spouse and family. Um, I have fireworks on the 4th that could work for freedom because our 4th of July is when we celebrate mm. freedom. Um, it would also work for shelter because it has a little barn and house in it. Freedom and shelter. Um, let's see. 
it. I guess we could do the whole frozen water thing here <laughs> with the snow. You could do your deck your hat holes again for that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I deck the halls. Um, I don't know. And deck the halls, my I could do for friends because I started it with my friends, with you and Carly and EJ. Is that water in the bottom of London? It's a bridge over water. There's rain coming down. That's water. Yeah. Um, health, job. Health, job. Food. Oh, my job I could do do re mi, by the way, since I'm a music teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm really not sure. I mean, theoretically, you could do London. Since London. <laughs> the, the little dudes, their job is to be the guards in the towers of London. Yes. Oh, yeah, there you go. And that's my job, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is your job. Yeah. Who could, could wear a fancy outfit like that, too? So, job food could you, I just don't know about health. Cookies. The, um, health? No, the, you're, you're calling a copia wreath because it's got healthy foods in it. Yeah. So. Got flowers. <laughs> well, they're flowers, are they? <laughs> pumpkins. There is a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Definitely not the candy. So. Yeah, I mean, that gets me pretty close. I can think about it more as time goes. Mm hmm. Oh, stop shaking. I really don't know, to be honest. I've saw, I saw it, but I really hadn't thought about it much. George could be for freedom, of course. Mm -hmm. He could be for a job, too. Job teaching, yes. Uh, one of my Paula Vaughns could be for family, because my grandmother would make all of his quilts. Mm -hmm. What else do I have? Health. I don't know. I have to think about it. I can't think of anything other than trying to save my life right now. <laughs> yes, because at the moment you have no health at all. I could <laughs> actually, to be honest, it might be silly, but there's a candy cane in this little guy's hand. And um, for all of my students, when they get sick because I can't give them medicine, I give them a peppermint when their stomach hurts. Yeah. So. And, the, and the sugar's good for you if you've got low blood sugars. And I drink uh, peppermint tea, so. That could be something. I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. well, Let y'all know next Sammy. time. We got three, three discussions in record time. Yep, and we have five minutes left. Um, I know there's the Stitcher games going on. Uh, uh -huh. We are all tributes trying to oh, yeah. survive. Uh, so help us. Sponsor me. If you're help not us all, please. <laughs> well, help Vicky. <laughs> yeah, right. Help Vicky right, help right now. Vicky's dying. I'm bleeding uh, like a... The, the Stitchopoly is going on right now um, over in semi Saint, and, and they've actually created different groups for those. Um, we're trying to combat the Facebook um, monitoring system, and we've noticed that it most, le most often happens in events. So if we create a group instead of an event, we're hoping for better luck there. Oh, okay. Uh, they so find those events. Um, anything else, anywhere else I can think of? I haven't even looked mm. at Ultimate Cross Stitch because I'm so overwhelmed with what we're doing right now. <laughs> I'm yeah, too busy I'm not, to do anything full that, coverage. That, um, yep. Yeah, and I don't know Enchanted Stitches either because, again, I've been too focused on these. And Stitcher Games yeah. is really our priority, plus trying to fix these homeworks for Magical Stitches and Shirls. That's enough to pick from to sort of stitch for Stitcher Games. So. Right, yep. Mm -hmm. And it's a month long event, so. Yep. May the odds be in our favor. Yes. And then. That's what I'm hoping. And then when we're all through with that, we've got finish that stitch December, where we're gonna finish all the things to get ready for a crazy 2020 that will probably be even worse than 2019 when it comes to all the craft that we try and do. <laughs> <laughs> because let's be real, this year was way more intense than last year. Oh yeah. So more um, more challenge groups has, has popped up this year than what there was last year. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think and some of us have to join them all. Yeah. Yep. Do what? what was it, Jesse? I think we had two challenge groups last year. Yeah. Soulful and Ultimate, and that was it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So. All Guilty. Right. Sorry. We'll see y'all next Not sorry. Bye. 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 Bye.